let us solve your question on how to find out the maximum total revenue from the monopolist who produces two goods the question is a monopolist produces two goods x and y the demand function for each good is given as is that is demand for good x is being given by p subscript x which is the price of good x is equal to 36 minus 3x x is the good x and we have the price of good y is related with this is the demand function for good y which is equal to 56 minus 4y we have to find out the maximum total revenue options are being given we need to find out the correct option here okay now let's see what we are being given we are being given the demand function for good x is being given as is 36 minus 3x demand function for good y is being given as is 56 minus 4y so first thing is we need to find out the total revenue function for this monopolist so total revenue as we know total revenue is equal to price into quantity okay q so in place of q we have x and y so can we write total revenue will be equal to total revenue will be equal to price of good x times units of good x producer plus price of good y times units of good y producer which implies uh, price of good x is being given by this very relationship that is 36 minus 3x to this we multiply by x plus we have price of y is being given as 56 minus 4y and to this we multiply by y so total revenue will be equal to so multiplying this x to each of these terms it becomes 36 x minus 3x square by the same logic this y is multiplied to each of these terms it becomes 56y minus 4y square this is the total revenue function for the monopolist now we need to find out the maximum total revenue possible given this total revenue function of the monopolist so if i write in place of tr so let's write total revenue here you can see it is a function of two goods that is f x and y here okay so i am writing it in this functional form so we have 36 minus sorry 36 x minus 3 x square plus 56 y minus 4 y square okay how do we find out so we need to find out the values of good x and y that maximize the total revenue so this is a multi variate function and we need to find out it is critical point is that satisfy the maximum condition okay so what is the maximum condition so there are two conditions in fact or rather three conditions for maxima and let me write it here let me see if i have another color okay let's take this so condition for maxima or relative maximum relative maximum okay the first condition is that we take the first partial derivative of good x sorry this uh, revenue function and we set it equal to zero okay and similarly f subscript y means the partial derivative of this function we set it equal to zero okay this will give us the critical pointers second condition is that the second order direct partial that means the second derivative of the total revenue function it should be in fact we don't have the inequality sign it should be less than zero and similarly uh, the second derivative with respect to y should be less than zero okay and we have another condition that is the product of second order direct cross sorry direct partial that is f x x times f y y it should be greater than f of f subscript x y what does this condition tell us it it says us that the product of the second order direct partial should be greater than the product of the second order cross partials in fact it is like this it is uh, it should be equal to f of 
एक्स वाई टाइम्स एफ ऑफ वाई एक्स ओके एंड वाई आई एम राइटिंग बाई यंगस्ट रूल एंड लेट मी राइट इट यू हेयर बाई यंगस्ट रूल यंगस्ट रूल वी नो दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई शुड बी इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ वाई एक्स ओके सो इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई आई कैन राइट सॉरी इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ ऑफ वाई एक्स कैन आई राइट एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई आई कैन राइट सो वी हैव टाइम्स एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई ओके नाउ एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई टाइम्स एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई होल स्केयर ओके नाउ इफ यू आर वन डरिंग वट इज यंगस्ट रूल इट सिंपली टेल इज एंड लेट मी अप्रूव इट हेयर विद एन एग्जाम्पल लेट एस ए आई हैव ए फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई विच हैज टू वेरिएबल्स लेट एस ए एक्स स्केयर प्लस वाई स्केयर ओके ना वट इज द फर्स्ट डेरीवेटिव दैट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स एफ ऑफ वाई विल बी इक्वल टू टू वाई नाउ एफ ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन अगेन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इट इज टू एफ ऑफ वाई वाई मीनस द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन अगेन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई विच इज इक्वल टू टू नाउ वट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई दैट मीनस द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई सिंस नो वाई इज इन्वॉल्व इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दैट इज एफ ऑफ वाई एक्स द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स हेयर नो एक्स इज इन्वॉल्व सो इट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू जीरो हेयर यू कैन सी एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ वाई एक्स which is equal to 0 can we say f of x y is equal to f of y x here we can say okay that means um when i apply this here so we will get f of x y whole square okay uh it was just to you know explain the third condition now what is the uh, for what is the condition for let you minima if at times we are asked to find out the minimum total cost okay since we are being told the maximum total revenue we apply this condition so the condition for relative minima is same condition that is first is f of x the first derivative should be equal to 0 rather the first partial derivative of the two goods should be equal to 0 second condition is f of x x second derivative should be greater than 0 f of y y it should be greater than 0 and third condition is same that is f of x x times f of y y it should be greater than f of x y whole square so okay so only condition for and uh, the uh, difference uh, between the relative maxima and minima is of this second order direct partials in case of relative maxima it should be less than 0 in case of relative minima it should be greater than 0 other two conditions are same for both relative maxima and minima okay now coming to the question first thing is we need to find out the partial derivative that is f of x it should be equal to 0 so the derivative of this function with respect to x so derivative of x in the first term is 1 we are left with 36x derivative of x squared is 2x so 2 into 3 is 6 So it becomes six x, and we set it equal to zero. This condition I am asking about. Similarly, f of f subscript y that means the partial of this function with respect to y. So since no y is involved in the first two terms, it is derivative zero. The derivative of y in the third term is one. We are left with fifty six minus derivative of y squared is two y, so two fours are eight y, and we set it equal to zero. Okay. and when we solve this it implies 36 will be equal to 6x which implies dividing both sides by 6 we will get uh x is equal to 6 okay we got the critical value here similarly here it implies 56 is equal to 8y which implies dividing both sides by 8 we will get y is equal to 8 seven the so we get here seven these are our critical points now we need to find out the second derivative whether our condition is fulfilled for relative maxima because we are being told to find out the maximum total revenue 
so f of x x minus the second derivative of this function with respect to x so this is the first derivative okay f x x minus again if i differentiate this first derivative with respect to x again we will get the second derivative derivative of 36 is 0 it is constant derivative of x in the last second term is 1 so we are left with minus 6 similarly f of y y that is the second derivative of this function with respect to y derivative of a constant is 0 derivative of y in the second term is 1 so we are left with minus a okay another condition which we should check that is f of x y what is f of x y the derivative of this function with respect to y since no y is involved it is derivative is 0 now the derivative okay so let us see the second condition that is f of rather the third condition f of y y the product of the second order direct partial should be greater than f of x y minus 0 square let us see what exactly happens here f of x x came out to be minus 6 okay so if f of x x is a function of x then we need to evaluate it at the critical point that is when x is equal to 6 okay since no x is involved so we write minus 6 okay and similarly f of y y is minus 8 so we have minus 8 here so this is 0 square is 0 8 6 is r 56 is, is in fact greater than 0 now here you can see all the three conditions are met for the relative maxima so we can say that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 7 in fact satisfy the condition for maximum total revenue now what will be then the maximum total revenue simply so our maximum maximum total revenue will be equal to we plug the value of that is total revenue will be equal to the value of x and y here in this equation so we have 36 times the value of x is 6 then we have minus 3 into x square minus 6 square which is 36 then we have plus 56 times the value of y is 7 minus we have 4 times y square y, y oh, sorry uh, y square minus 7 square which is 49 okay so solving further total revenue will be equal to 6 6 is our 36 6 3 is our 18 as a kunu aku so we get here 2 1 6 minus 3 6 is our 18 3 3 is our 9 that get 10 plus 7 6 is our 42 uh, 7 5 is our 35 panzeru shetra satra atra kunta ji so we get here 39 minus we have 4 nines are 36 is 4 4 are 16 17 18 19 okay so let us see so we add uh, the plus terms then we add the minus terms so total revenue will be equal to 6 is plus 2 is equal to 8 now target the 3 plus 2 is we get here 6 or 8 minus we subtract these two terms 8 8 plus 6 is, is 14 now we have a carry then we have a package okay let me see if I have done it correctly or not 8, 6 is 14, 9 plus 1 is 10, so we have here 0, then we have target is target 3, so we get total revenue is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4, we get 0, 6 minus 3 is 3, so this will be our maximum total revenue, that is 3 or 4, so the correct option should be B option. I hope I make myself clear in this video, thank you.